Miller Park had happened around 4 p.m. at 31st and Reddick. Well, my police say one man was taken to a hospital with serious injuries. We'll update you on his condition as soon as we hear from police. You may have heard the phrase sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt. A local businesswoman disagrees. She filed a suit over postings on a Facebook page. In a six on your side investigation, Mike McKnight tells us the defendants have asked a judge to throw out the case. A few months ago, food, craft, and skincare vendors could sell their products in a consignment store operated by Andrea Christensen. One of my strengths is to help other people. I market them. But a marked businesswoman is how Christensen describes herself. After posts on Omaha Eats Uncensored, some posts she alleges in a defamation lawsuit should have been censored. Christensen filed suit against one of the administrators, Lauren Henson, alleging the site allowed hateful, harassing, and malicious posts. But Henson's attorney asked a judge to dismiss the suit, and Haley Venter listened um, to the arguments in court. This should be a lesson for whoever doesn't like what they see on the internet that doesn't give them the right to just take somebody to court because it hurt their feelings. A frequent poster on the site, Lisa French, also named in the suit for posts that include Andrea Christensen is a liar and a cheat. Well, the plaintiff alleged in her own complaint that she was convicted of tax evasion and served time in jail for that, which we would submit is a crime of dishonesty such that vague comments about her being a liar and a cheat are truthful. After a 2016 Six on Your Side investigation into her previous business, Christensen served 21 days for tax evasion. But Christensen's attorney Patrick McNamara tells me that truth is not a defense if the Facebook post is malicious. Christensen didn't attend the hearing, telling me she didn't know about it until I called her. But she tells me by phone she had to close her food consignment store in large measure because of the Facebook posts. After being open about 11 months, the store is empty. And the women, it hurt them and it made their businesses suffer, so they didn't want to even be associated anymore. I mean, that would be hard on your business, you know. If you're, if there's posts and things out there and then you just, you're, you don't want to fight that anymore. But supporters of posts on the Facebook site say it should remain open to free speech. On your side at the Douglas County Courthouse, Mike McKnight, 6 News. Christensen's attorney said the lawsuit is based on the Facebook site being misused to stoke attacks on his client and individuals who conducted business with her. The defense says lawsuit isn't specific which posts have caused financial damage. The judge asked for more written arguments before deciding on the motion.